Hello there. If you are an employer in the Irish market, then you face potential difficulties, penalties and expensive claims by employees against you as an employer because there's a quite a raft of legislation dealing with employment law in Ireland. And this video, this short video is going to look at seven critical areas that you need to be very much aware of to avoid expensive employment claims. The first thing is that you are legally obliged to give a statement of terms and conditions of employment to your employees. This is set out in the Terms of Employment Information Act of 1994 and you have two months to give your employee a statement containing some essential information about the employment. The items of information are set out clearly in the Terms of Employment Information Act of 1994. In addition to that, you need to give a written statement of pay. This can be a pay slip or some other form of written statement, but you do need to provide it, or Nira could uh, find you in breach of the legislation. The minimum wage then in Ireland uh, currently is eight euros and sixty-five cents. However, there are some exceptions to this, but generally, eight sixty-five is the minimum you are allowed to pay employees. Some industries then have a higher minimum wage. That's something that you need to be careful about also, depending on your industry. The maximum number of hours worked um, in a week is 48 hours currently. And this can be calculated over a four month or six month or 12 month period, depending on your industry. But again, you cannot breach this and Nira uh, may find you in, if Nira finds you in breach of this, then you could be facing potential penalties and uh, district court prosecution. The Organisation of Working Time Act then of 1997 sets out quite clearly the breaks to which your employees are entitled. And uh, this is uh, not a piece of legislation that you can afford to ignore. The Organisation of Working Time Act 1997 also provides for holidays and holiday leave for your employees. Essentially it amounts to four paid weeks holidays per year for a full-time employee and it works out then on a pro-rata basis for part-time workers. Uh, it works out at roughly one-third of a week per month worked. Minimum notice then is another area that you may f fall foul of if you terminate the employment of an employee. The absolute minimum is one week, but this will depend on the length of service and the Minimum Notice and Terms of Employment Acts 1973 to 2001 set out the various uh, notice periods you need to give depending on service. To ensure compliance for your business is uh, an absolute vital part of your um, management of your business because failure to comply can lead to expensive claims from employees and also fines and or penalties if NERA, the national body uh, for employment rights, carries out an inspection. We can help you with contracts of employment for your employees, statements of terms and conditions, disciplinary procedure policies, grievance procedure policies, staff handbooks and all of the other pieces of information and uh, documentation you need to provide for your employees. You can contact me through info at businessandlegal.ie for a professional service in this area. Thank you for watching.